On January the 15th, 1973, Goldemir met with Pope Paul VI. The meeting was a horrible, degrading, and insulting experience for Goldemir. This deceiver, Pope Paul VI, insulted her, leaving her sorry and disappointed that she had ever met with this lying fraud. Pope Paul VI. This is what Goldemir had to say about her meeting with the Pope. Afterwards, Goldemir said, The man of the cross, who heads the church, whose symbol is the cross, under which Jews were killed for many generations, I could not escape the feeling. It stuck with me. And he felt it, that a Jewess was sitting opposite him. Goldemir went on to say, Right at the start, I didn't like it at all, right at the start. The Pope told me he found it difficult to understand how the Jewish people who should conduct themselves mercifully should react in their country so harshly. I can't stand it, said Goldemir, when they talked like that. So I said to the Pope, Do you know the first memory of my life? The Pogrom of Kiev. The Pogrom was the looting, raping, and murder and persecution of hundreds of Jews that went on around Goldemir when she was a little girl. She said, Do you know the first memory of my life? Miss Mir told the Pope, When we were merciful, we didn't have a country, and we were weak. And they took us to the gas chamber. The fact is that this Pope, Paul V, and every Pope, is so far out of touch with reality. After the meeting, a journalist told Goldemir that people were describing the Vatican's behavior as a diplomatic slap in the face. People were describing it as a stab in the back. The Jews were rounded up in nearly every Catholic country. The majority of Roman Catholics worked with the Nazis. The majority of Roman Catholics helped to round up and to ship the Jews out on trains. If the Nazis had wanted or tried to round up the Roman Catholic citizens, the Roman Catholics of Europe would have fought back and would have defeated the Nazis. But the Roman Catholics were not being rounded up, nor were they interested in helping the Jews out of kindness or nor interested in respecting the life of the Jew. For example, 75,000 Jews were deported from Catholic France. In Catholic Croatia, Catholic Croatia put 15,000 Jews into concentration camps. In Catholic Italy, 5,000 Jews were deported out to Auschwitz. There weren't that many Jews in Catholic Italy. They didn't like Jews. Today they like Jews because it's, because it's expedient and politically correct and popular among the superpowers. In Catholic Hungary, more than 430,000 Hungarian Jews were sent to Auschwitz. In Catholic Romania, the Romanians slaughtered and murdered thousands of their Jews. In the Catholic Netherlands, 107,000 Jews were sent to Auschwitz, Sobibor, and Bergen. Around 102,000 of them were murdered. In Greece, in Greece, the Italian controlled major parts of Greece, in the Italian controlled major parts of Greece, 45,000 Jews were sent to Auschwitz. The Jews in the Italian Catholic occupation zone were gathered into Italian concentration camps by the Italians to be deported in time to Auschwitz. In Serbia, over 500,000 Serbians were murdered, 250,000 expelled, 200,000 were forced, were forced to convert to Catholicism or be killed, butchered, and killed by the Roman Catholics around them. 20,000 Serbian and Serbian Jewish women, children, and elderly were gathered into a ghetto. 
the other 7,500 Jews were gassed to death. The list goes on and on. After the war, the Jewish survivors were desperate to get back home, to get back to these Catholic countries that they came from, looking for acceptance back into Catholic Italian life. After the war, looking for acceptance into the Catholic-controlled countries. The Roman Catholics of Europe spat upon these surviving Jews and never returned their homes, never returned their money, their property, and did nothing to help. These Jews would have said anything to be accepted back to Catholic Italy and given a chance for a halfway decent life. Jews were forced to praise the Pope and were compelled to, to heap praise upon the Roman Catholic Church and Pope Pius because all of the Jews who had been in concentration camps and in hiding had to go back to the Catholic countries from which they had been shipped out of. Their homes, property, wealth, and families were gone. They came back to these Catholic countries from which they were shipped out of having all of their possessions and very souls stolen from them by Roman Catholics. Many Jews were forced, even after the war, to say great things and to heap, and to heap praises upon the Pope and his Catholic Church just to survive in an anti-Semitic, Jew-hating Catholic Europe. Catholics have clung to the desperate and rash words of these poor Jews like a parasite. After the war, the United States went to work to help these Jews. Approximately 137,000 Jews were immediately given a home in the United States. The largest numbers of immigrants were the United States and Israel. Here below this movie is the original newspaper article that tells of Golda Meir's meeting with Pope Paul VI. Don't forget to go to page 1, up above there on the Start menu. By clicking on page 1, you will go to the next step in Rex's presentation. Thank you.
Don't forget to go to page 1, up above there on the Start menu. By clicking on page 1, you will go to the next step in Rex's presentation. Thank you.